Hi, I'm Max Kellerman. On November 21st, from the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, Nevada, and live on HBO pay-per-view, Miguel Cotto, the lineal middleweight champion of the world, takes on Canelo Alvarez, one of the biggest stars in boxing. But before then, right here, right now, they face off. And with them, of course, Miguel Cotto's trainer, Freddie Roach, and one of Canelo's trainers, Eddie Reynoso. Guys, Mexico versus Puerto Rico. That's maybe the greatest rivalry in boxing. What does it mean to you to fight representing Puerto Rico, really? Whether you like it or not, in this fight, which is seen by the boxing public as not just a fight between two top fighters with excellent styles, but as a fight between a Mexican fighter and a Puerto Rican fighter. I'm Puerto Rican since day one. Proudly represent my country every day. And I know that's going to be huge for my country, for this country. That's where we are. It's Mexico and Puerto Rico. And on November 21st, both countries are going to crash. You are going to receive a war. That's what people are going to have the end of November 21st, a real war. How do you feel about representing Mexico in this fight? Me siento muy orgulloso. Me siento muy orgulloso de pelear por mi país y con todo ese orgullo que me caracteriza eh, lo voy a representar con, 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 con ese orgullo que cuando te subes al cuadrilátero y haces esa pelea que se queda la historia, ¿no? Entonces me voy a preparar al 100% para que sea una de esas peleas que queden en la historia. Miguel, you don't make excuses, but an impartial observer would say the first time that Cotto was involved in the big promotion of Mexico versus Puerto Rico, maybe it wasn't a level playing field. Does that motivate you in any way in this fight? I have enough motivation with my family. I don't need more motivation. My family is the people who, who move me to do everything in life. And I'm here for them. And I'm going to be my, the rest of my day for them. Canelo and the boxing world in this country were watching you on YouTube as I was as a young fighter. Miguel Cotto was one of the top fighters in boxing. What did you think of Cotto when you were climbing up the ranks? No, de hecho, yo lo, lo he dicho en varias entrevistas. Yo lo veía pelear. Me gusta su estilo. Me gusta su estilo de pelea. Yo lo he visto. De los que ven videos de, de peleadores de antes, de hoy, para aprender todo lo que se pueda para aprender todo lo que se puede. Yo lo veía, es un gran peleador y merece mi respeto. Ahora nos toca pelear y obviamente eh, haré lo mejor que, que pueda para esa noche salir con la mano en alto. Freddy said he's a good fighter, but there's a sense for the people who support you that he doesn't have enough experience yet, considering how many guys you fought. Does he have enough experience to beat you? We'll see on November 21st. Does he have enough experience to beat Miguel? No, I'm betting both my houses on that. Are you really betting on this fight? Of course. You know, I thought this fight would be very close in the odds, that one or the other would be favored by a little bit. But you're better than a two-to-one favorite. Why do you think that is? No, no lo sé. No. Yo no pienso en eso, no me baso en eso y no quiero pensarlo. Why do you think he's the 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 odds makers have made him better than a two to one favorite in this fight? Why? You can go to Vegas and ask. I don't know. Do you have any thoughts about it? Did, were you aware of it? No. You didn't know the odds in the fight. I don't care. Freddie, if you're betting two houses, I'm guessing you knew the odds in the fight. Of course. Why did they make him better than a two-to-one favorite? Someone made a mistake. <laughs> so in my opinion, I mean, at those odds, I cannot bet. So, I mean, I have a lot of belief in my fighter, and we're going to come kick some ass and uh, take some money home. But I, 
I do like that he is favorite. I like being the underdog and I like owning, and I, I love upsets. When you watch him fight, what do you think when you've seen him come up through the ranks? He's a great fighter, good fighter, strong fighter. Yeah. He is. What about him made you think that you could beat him? This guy, Fred Roach. I know if I, if I follow his advice, we will beat him on November 21st. Is that by decision or knockout, Freddy? Knockout. Knockout. Obviously, Eddie, you're gonna say that your guy's gonna win the fight. Is that by a decision or a knockout? Pues nosotros vamos a preparar muy bien. A mí no me gusta estar diciendo si vamos a ganar o a noquear, porque pues como Freddy me puedo equivocar. Se ha equivocado en, en varias veces. Y, y vamos a prepararnos bastante bien y el 21 vamos a hacer todo lo posible por salir adelante con esa pelea. Um, Juan Manuel Marquez, great fighter. Julio Cesar Chavez, great fighter. The Mexican fighters, Ricardo Lopez, and you go back, Salvador Sanchez, the Mexican fighters at the top of boxing have been great fighters. You're at the top of boxing, but there's a sense that you haven't proven that you're great yet. You're very good, but are you in the Marquez, Chavez, Finito, Salvador Sanchez level? You haven't proven that yet. Is this fight an opportunity to reach greatness? Yo creo que todas las peleas son son las oportunidades, ¿no? Te vas abriendo ese camino y claro que sí, esta es una pelea eh, que eh, en lo personal eh, ganándole a Miguel Cotto es eh, donde empiezo a escribir mi, mi historia más fuerte todavía. Is he a great fighter? Not yet. He has potential to be, I think, but I haven't seen no greatness yet, no. Is your guy a great fighter? Yes. What's the difference? Experience. What does he do well? What does he do well? The strength is the thing he has the most in him. Strength, you mean physical or strength of character? Uh, I think both. What do you think of his boxing skills? He can box too. Who's the bigger man in this fight, physically? Him. Okay. He's bigger. Yeah. Who's the faster guy? I don't know. We'll see on November 21st. Who's the bigger puncher? We'll see on November 21st. Who has the advantage in speed, Freddy? Speed's pretty close. Punching power? Yeah. And technique? Yeah. Who's the bigger puncher in the fight? Saul. Who's the faster fighter? Saul combina más rápido. Who do you think has better technique? Pues vele la cara. Quien recibe más golpes. Why is that funny? Nothing. He's old. <laughs> He's had more fights. Wait till Canelo gets to be Miguel's age. Is there anything you'd like to tell Canelo? You know how he has to do in his training camp. I hope he had the best days on his camp. I'm going to do to have my own days and the, the night of the 21st is the day for no excuses. He hopes he has his best training camp. If I were him, I'd be hoping he has his worst training camp. Freddie, what are you hoping for? Um, he's already started his training camp. He's already started sparring. I know who he's sparring with. Um, so there's a lot of stuff I know already. He's doing very well. He's doing well with his sparring partners that they picked out so far. I don't think they're the right styles, but that's only with me. So we start on Monday, and I have a six sparring partner set up right now, and I think we need a little bit more in this camp because we're gonna, we're gonna run through them. Eddie, sometimes Freddie says something publicly, and I get the feeling that he's like Phil Jackson in basketball. 
where some of it's true and some of it is to get into your head or get into Canelo's head and some of it's both. What do you think when Freddie says that he already knows who he's sparring with, he thinks you've picked the wrong styles for sparring partners and all that kind of stuff? Pues no me interesa lo que diga él ni lo que diga la demás gente. Él con todo respeto pues siempre ha opinado lo mismo en todas las peleas. Y así como ha ganado peleas, ha perdido peleas y ha echado a perder carreras de peleadores, entonces si me pongo yo a hacerle caso a lo que él diga, pues estaría mal yo hago mi trabajo como lo hemos haciendo siempre con responsabilidad y respetando al campamento contrario y y que diga y haga lo que él quiera, por eso es famoso para que la gente para que la gente escuche de él, entonces que haga lo, lo que él quiera y nosotros hacemos nuestro nuestro trabajo. So you happy with the sparring partners that you've chosen for Canelo? Así es, pues nos faltan dos meses. Yo estoy contento porque ya tenemos cinco semanas trabajando. Él está contento porque apenas va a empezar a trabajar, pues es problema de él. Y nosotros hacemos nuestro trabajo, él hace el de él y cada quien. Um, Freddy knows things about what's happening in your camp and everything. Do you, do you expect spies in your camp? Uh, spies? No. I think the word just gets out there a little bit. And um, I don't have any spies. I, I don't hire spies. But there's a lot of things you hear going through my gym because there's a lot of activity there. And I think one of the sparring partners is from my gym. So um, he comes back and talks a lot. I think you just cost a sparring partner a gig, Freddie, maybe. I didn't think so. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> when he says that, do you ever say, Freddie, shut up? I can't. I can't. Good. No, I can't. He's Freddie. I'm, I'm, I'm never going to stop him being him. Guys, is there anything you want to let the fans know before we wrap this up? Just people who love boxing. Can miss this fight. They're, they're going to receive a special night of boxing. This is the next chapter in my career. I'm going to be in the gym every day. I'm going to do my best and I'm going to train the best I can for this fight. This fight is important to me. It's important to my family. And I believed that this fight. It's important to the whole boxing community, the whole world. Así es. Eh, serán los que salgan ganando esa noche. Yo creo que ellos necesitaban esta pelea. La tienen, entonces no se la pierdan. Miguel and Saúl, Eddie, Freddy, thank you for coming and sitting down tonight and facing off. And uh, fight fans on November 21st, live on HBO pay-per-view and from the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, Nevada. When these guys say that this is a fight you do not want to miss, they ain't lying. Fight fans, you don't want to miss this one. Thanks for joining us on Face Off.